person that's supposed to talk can talk and you guys can hear what they're saying. Doesn't that sound cool? That's what Boy Scouts do. Cool thing. So you can put them down. As soon as everybody's quiet, everybody puts them down. And then suddenly, suddenly. Who's a Boy Scout? Raise your hand again. I'm a Cub Scout. Yeah, Cub Scouts work. Uh, who's, a, who's a Scout? All Scouts, raise your hand. Now, if you are 11 or over and you are a Boy Scout, stand up. I'm, a, so keep I'm, you, I'm about to be in Cubs, two weeks. Cubs, you can keep raising your hand. So we got one. Uh, in a, in a less, less than a week. Less than a week. Uh, 11, 12. I will be in a week. 11. I will be in a few months. You're 11? 11, 11. Yeah. Cool. Now, yeah, you, a few months. All right. Uh, how, how soon will you guys be 11? You, you guys are in the Weebelows. Three days. Three days. Cool. A few months. All right. So what you're going to learn in the next really short time with, with me oh, is you're going to learn a lot about scouting that the other scouts in your ward or your troop don't know. All right? Like, for instance, you know that scouts do this, right? But you're going to learn in just a second that this and this is not the scout sign. We call this a check mark. A scout sign is a square, like straight level with the ground and then straight up. Everybody practice that. That whenever you do the scout sign, it's that's the scout sign. If you go down too low, then you're not doing the scout sign. You're like lazy or you're tired or you're about to die. <laughs> but if you're not about to die, this is the scout sign. Now who who knows the uh, uh, pledge of allegiance by heart? Oh. Probably everybody, right? Did you know America? Americans generally always do the Pledge of Allegiance wrong, but Boy Scouts do it right. Word for word, it's the same thing. Well, Shadow's out front. He's out front. I think so. I'll get it. Don't worry. No, he's in your room. He's in. Oh, I'll tell you the gotcha. difference. Boy Scouts say the Pledge of Allegiance the way it was written, and there's no comma after the word nation. And so we say nation under God. And everybody else in the whole country says, um, what, how does it go? One, to nation. one nation. One nation. Under God. Under God. Under God. Does that sound right when there's no comma? One nation. No. Under it's God. one sentence. It's one phrase. There's no comma. So we are one nation under God. I knew it. Y'all want to try that without the whole Pledge of Allegiance? We'll start with one nation. Here we go. One, one nation, nation under God. God. Now, next time you say the Pledge of Allegiance, what's going to happen to those who don't know the, the right way? You're going to be saying under God all by yourselves, and they're all going to be, what? Under God. You know, they'll say it late, won't they? So wherever you go, as long as it's scouts, you can share this knowledge with them and say there's no comma, so good Boy Scouts don't, don't pause. All right, so there's a few more things you're going to learn about Boy Scouts. But I'll bet you hardly any Boy Scouts that you know that are not in this room are going to learn. All right, so what I've done is I've got someone to put on some pictures. So if you're not facing this TV, you might want to, um, you might want to uh, move so you can see the screen. We were going to do this around the campfire, but it's sprinkling, so... And are we going to go out and play Dr. Martin? Are we going to be doing the Golden Star and Sky and... Slide show. Please begin. It's a slow laptop. Um, you could click Slide right, Show. Who, who has a hero? Does anyone what? have a hero? Who's your hero? My dad. Ooh, that's good to have. How about yours? Sky? Yes! Excellent hero. How about yours? Iron Man. Iron Man. Now there's a real hero. <laughs> What's your, who's your hero? Well, right. Say again. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. He, yeah, I think he's a good guy. Um, I would say the Holy Ghost. Very good. Oh Anybody else want to share that? It's hero? hard to think since there's so many. There are lots of heroes. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the person who like family boy scouts. Well, that's me. Me. We're going to talk about him. We're going to talk about Dora. We're going to talk about Dora. We're going to talk about Dora. Dora the Explorer. Where did the same exact box? Who's the hero? 
Very good. Okay, we're going to talk about a hero, and this guy was so famous and so much of a big hero when there wasn't very many heroes to go around that his whole country stayed up all night and had a big party because the hero was, you know, like what, what he did to become a hero, I'll tell you. George Washington. This hero was a soldier for the country of England. He was the person oh, by the way, Washington. Uh, we have, I just, uh, I called, I wanted to put BSA on this slide, and somehow this one got there. Who knows what that is? Yes. Oh, no, okay, that's Army. It's the Army. No, actually, it's... Wait, uh, for the flash? Let me, let me try and get this to go. It's BSA. Watch it's BSA. Here we go. All right, BSA. It works. BSA actually, Boy Scouts of America. this is BSA stands for... Boy Scouts, Scouts of America. America. Yeah, but this BSA is a motorcycle company. <laughs> so if we went with that hero, it would be somebody like that. So I don't like that. We're, yeah, it's an anti -hero. That. <laughs> we're going to talk about this guy, the founder of Skyrim. Oh, about this guy. And this yeah. is his name on my neckerchief. Baden Powell. All right, Baden Powell. Now, he has a very long name, and it, if you say his name before he was a hero, that's it. But after he was a hero, and he became the hero of boys, more than anything else, he came to became the hero of boys of all ages. They just called him BP for short. So tonight we're going to refer to BP, and we mean this guy. How about we just Baden say Powell. Baden Powell? And, and ever since he uh, was around, he tried to teach people how to say his name, and it didn't take. He died, and he was still a hero. And we all say his name wrong, but I won't correct that. So after he became a hero, he was knighted by the queen. So he's Sir Baden Powell, and then he was given one step above that. So he was Lord Baden Powell, first Baron of something. It was like it takes a whole sentence to say his name. But let's just call him BP. All right. So what was he? BP. 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 Who was BP? What was he? Found the Eventually, but what was he to begin with? In these a Lord, Lord BP. A what? A Baron. Lord Robert Stevenson's fifth name. He was a soldier, right? Oh, right, right, right. He was an army officer. But how cool is this? He was a spy. So back then, England had enemies, right? And uh, what does a spy go do? Spy. Spy. Where do they go? I know. They become James Bond. To the enemy. To do they their go, spying, they go. Yeah, they make close sure that the every, so yeah, they go undercover. Undercover, yeah. Are they in disguise or do they wear their uniform of their country? Well, they're, they're not really in disguise. They're just wearing normal attire, hoping okay. for the best. What if he showed up in the, in the uniform of, of England? People would probably him. try to kill him. Right. So he's got to wear a disguise. So his favorite disguises were um, to go among the enemy. Where did he go, France? were to uh, dress up. And the more dressed up somebody is, they're, they're important, right? And the less dressed up, like a bum, you know, a street person, they're less dressed up. So he liked to dress up. And he also liked to be way older than he really was. So he was kind of a young man, but he was play acting as if he was very old. He would have a cane, you know, he'd pretend to be old. So what he'd do is he'd go peek around where he shouldn't be peeking, but because he was dressed up and he was acting a certain way, they'd think, oh, he's just a crazy old man, he's no harm. His favorite thing to go do was they needed to learn what the, our, the enemy had in the way of forts and uh, cannons and, you know, big walls. And if you're going to go uh, fight over there, you've you got to know what you're up against. So if he's dressed as an old man and he takes his little uh, artist sketching pad and stuff and he sits down on the hillside overlooking their fort with all their cannons and all he's sketching is butterflies or leaves and they come and say, what are you doing here looking at our fort? Oh. oh, you're just a crazy old man sketching butterflies. Oh, it was, it was, it was... The butterflies and the stuff butterflies. were disguised, so you can it's see the dots. Right, and he shape. would take the sketches back, and he would be able to duplicate exactly what he was sketching. Oh, well, look. Yeah, Isn't that cool? The, it's yeah. maps. 
So he did a hundred million other things that were cool. That's like a, those are, yeah, I can tell the different maps. But, but militaries always have spies. They're moving in the field, you know, they're moving along. There's this massive Maybe. army. Well, we know do, we have do you know what the military them. calls the guys that go out ahead to look around? Scouts. scouts. Oh, that's a great word, scouts. Not Boy Scouts, they didn't exist. But he called them, let's send out the scouts and they're going to see what's ahead. They scouted around. When we're going to get there tomorrow, they want to see what's there. They're scouting ants. And nowadays, the military nowadays doesn't say scouts. Now they say reconnaissance or recon. You've heard that term, right? Yeah, recon. Recon are the guys that are really extra talented in, in the field. They're good at sneaking and around. They, they sneak around and see where, what's Sometimes ahead. they do get to run the stuff. All right, so no. Baden Powell got so good at this whole deal with uh, recon or scouts that he wrote a military manual for other guys to learn. When they're going to be out looking around, he wrote this. These are some tricks and, and, and secrets that you can do when you're out scouting out the enemy area. So he wrote this book, and then he sent it into the publisher. He didn't. He was out in the, uh, South Africa, India. He was out there. He just sent it home to England for them to print the book and distribute it around. And he was a good illustrator, so all the drawings in the book, he made the drawings. Cool? So now we're going to learn a great story. You like stories? An exciting story about... Story time! They assigned, they, they promoted him to colonel, so he's a big officer. He has lots of people, hundreds of soldiers under him. And they said, your assignment, Colonel Powell, is to go to this town in South...